Hello and welcome. Today is inspection day on this ICOM IC756. This is the first of the line. I got this package for about a little over $800. Got the uh, SM6 desk mic and the hand mic HM36. Since this is inspection, let's take a look inside. I'll pull the covers off and let's get a closer look. Okay, top cover off. There is another shield there that needs to re be removed. We have about uh, six screws. And there's a couple screws here for the speaker. Don't take those off. They stay, that'll hold the speaker there. There's also a uh, wire with a plug-in goes to the front panel here. So when you remove this top shield, either pop that out or be careful. I'm just going to put it off to the side for now. Okay, we have our three sections here. Power amp section on the left. Different view here. Okay, moving up to the center of the box, have the uh, filter section. Also make note here is the uh, DC power connection. It's a six pin Molex. Four of the pins are used. And that's gonna be a 20 amp fused. Well, we're here looking at the back. All the stuff that everybody else has shown you, but I've never seen the insides of this on the internet. Lastly, this section here, this is the uh, antenna tuner section. All right, let's take a look at the bottom. Bottom side, we'll take a closer look. So we have in this section here, this is the two um, VCOs and a PLL. Over on the left here, we have the uh, amplifiers pre-IF. up top here we've got the uh, crystal right there have our filters SSB and CW installed over to the right have the uh, DSP board underneath that board is a switch bank Alright, while we're here, I'm going to remove the DSP board and see what's underneath. You just have to grab each end there and pry it up slowly. You can see there's these header connectors. So, I said earlier there's a switch bank. I was incorrect. It's just a matter of some jumpers. I'll get a closer look here. Just to the left of that main chip there. Wow. 
All right, put the DSP board back. So this thing is pretty well in mint condition. No repairs required here, except, as we all know, the display on the original 756s is, is a problem. A problem that I don't have to worry about, because this display has been replaced. That's why I bought the unit. So, no worry there. So, as we can see from that inspection, this is not a restoration project. Everything here is mint condition. This unit is a little over, probably I'm going to guess 10 years old. They were built in the late 90s and uh, as I said earlier there was a few different models. Or did I say? I don't recall. This is the first one. There was the Pro and then a Pro 2 and finally a Pro 3. So, let's turn it on and take a look at this unit. Cut off pieces left over from a 20 foot random length piece. 21, 22, whatever they happen to come out as. So, I need something or other that'll clamp that two inch tube. Well, there it is, powered up. It looks good, it sounds good. Love that spectrum scope. There's the uh, new display. You get used to it. I'm okay with it. I uh, never saw the radio with the original display, so I'm okay with this. Sure, it would be nice to have some color, like on the newer models. But of course, the newer models cost a whole bunch more. Well, that's it for my inspection. Nothing to fix on this guy. Thanks for watching.